What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And when me and Nick were out in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it's in Wisconsin, for Milwaukee Tools NPS for 2019, undoubtedly, hands down, with unquivocable, wibbly, amount of excitement, one of the most popular announcements offerings and what you asked for for us to give you more information about was milwaukee's m12 motorized torque wrench you wanted to know pou you wanted to know specs and capacities you wanted to know prices availability well today we're going to give it all to you you're not going to like all the answers though i'm going to preface the whole video with you're not gonna like all you're not gonna like all the answers. But we're gonna give them to you. Because that's what we do. Because even though sometimes the truth isn't popular, the truth is always the truth. So here's the deal. We got full details for you straight from the horse's mouth. Or mouth. Milwaukee Tool, Shanover, everything you wanted to know. We told them, hey, hey, yo, the very cool gang has some questions. Can we give them some answers? So they made a statement. Here it is. Milwaukee Tool is proud to unveil the industry's first motorized torque wrenches. So this is the difference between other solutions. You know, other solutions... Okay, would be to, you'd have to maybe use an impact wrench, okay, get close to where you feel you would need, then come in with a, a secondary high precision torque wrench. This tool puts all of the tasks, those two tasks together in one motorized torque wrench. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You would indeed use the motorized portion to run down that fastener to close to where it would be, and then you would finish it off with the precision torque wrenchness of it. Delivering increased productivity, precise torque accuracy, and advanced reporting functionality. M12 Fuel 3 8 and half inch diggle, dig, diggle. You're going to diggle. You're going to diggle this torque wrench. Deliver 50% faster installation times, replacing hand tools or other traditional two-tool installation processes, providing more accuracy to reduce the over-torquing. Oh, it says torquing. The over-torquing of fasteners. In addition, these tools enhance the overall torque reporting experience by generating torque data and customizable reports for inspections and owners through one key. Now, here's the deal. This is the parts, and you're not going to, might not all like. All you auto mechanics, you might not like this. Electricians have a responsibility to install conductors and make connections according to the manufacturer's instructions. Unfortunately, though, it's commonplace for many electricians to tighten connections in one of two ways. Using an impact, then a torque wrench. Or two, manually ratcheting a torque wrench to get to that target value. These processes aren't only time consuming, but they also can lead to overly tightened connections or even repetitive motion injuries over time for users, said Eric Rush. What they don't want installers to have to do is manually torque down fasteners with a torque wrench, right? Run them down like this and then finally torque the fastener. Okay. They don't want, they're, they're trying to reduce injuries by removing those processes. Okay, You're going to use a powered solution, the M12 motorized torque wrench. They want to allow users to use one tool instead of the two tools, which would be an impact wrench and then a, a hand torque wrench. Right, That would be faster than the manual running down. So, eliminating... Those two other solutions, by coming out with this motorized torque wrench, they're looking to, Milwaukee's going to reduce injuries, which means technicians could be in their field making money. In their field making money for a longer amount of time. No, no, no. You don't get to retire at 55. Sorry. You'll, you, you retire at 70. Okay? 
you're fine. You could just use this motorized tool to help you. <laughs> and they want you to be able to get it done faster. Okay, so nobody, you know, if you have a motorized tool, nobody's going to be screaming at you anymore. Come on, old man, go a little faster. You know what I mean? I, now you could just say, "Hey, I'm going as fast as the tool will allow me." There you go. Okay, so you're going to be working longer and more. You're going to be more productive. Okay, the process is when using this tool. Step one: set the torque target by application. Step two, pull the trigger to max RPM. Tool will automatically stop prior to target torque to prevent over torquing. Step three, finish by hand to reach the target torque. The tool will notify the user if the proper torque was applied through sound, vibration, LED lights, and an on-screen notification. Step four, optional. Press save to record the final torque event. It's unbelievable unbelievable how effective i mean you're even generating a report for your torque specifications i will say this quite possibly there and i'm not saying this is true but for these electricians and installers maybe there would be an insurance benefit to being able to provide these reports for the installations that you're doing maybe this is the deal. I know what you're saying right now. It's a torque wrench. How come they're not talking about auto mechanics? The reality is, is that these tools, and we're going to talk about their, their specifications, their intended purpose is not the auto industry. It is indeed these electricians and uh, solar installers. So the specifications are as follows. The M12 Fuel 3H Digital Torque Wrench with one key, product number 2465-22. Number one, the price is $749. Think about how much more productivity you will be. Or productive. The torque range for the 3.8s is 10 to 100 foot-pounds. Ratcheting angle is 4.5 degrees. RPM is 0 to 100. Available presets, you got 15. Data storage capacity, 28,500. Calibration, one year or 5,000 cycles. It will have to be recalibrated. Measuring units, you can get it in foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, or kilograms, kg dash cm, centimeters, kilograms per centimeter. Wow, is that right? Tool length with batteries, 23.3 inches. Weight is 5.5 pounds with the battery. Warranties, five years. Languages, it's bilingual, multilingual. English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Italian, German, Work notifications are the LED lights, LCD screen, sound, and a vibration in the handle. Now, the kit includes the tool, two M12 Red Lithium CP 2.0 battery packs, a charger, and a carrying case. You could also get it as bare tool. It's product number 2465-20. It's 599 the half-inch digital torque wrench with one key, product number 2466-22, is also $749. Here's the big difference between the 3 8 and the half-inch. The half-inch goes up to 150 foot-pounds. It starts, the range is 12 and a half pounds, though. 12 and a half pounds to 150 foot-pounds. Now, this is why we talk about... This not being suited for the auto industry, especially a half-inch torque wrench. 150 foot-pounds is not suited for that industry. These were specifically designed for installers and electricians. We talked to Milwaukee and asked them while we were in MPS for 2019. You could probably see some of that in this video here. Why not make the capacity higher for torque? The answer was the head on the tool, the head. You'll see the head on the tool in a picture. The head on the tool would have to grow substantially, substantially to allow a capacity of maybe 250 foot pounds. They wouldn't be able to get that tool. Auto mechanics wouldn't be able to get that tool into tight fitting spaces. And quite frankly, the underhood and, and you know, underhood of vehicles and vehicles themselves to get into those areas gets tighter and tighter. It just gets tighter and tighter. So I don't know if they're working on a solution. Maybe some, I don't know, uh, they're going to use some materials they found on the moon or Mars to construct it. But right now, this is electricians and installers only. 
if you're an auto mechanic, can you use these? Sure you can. You know, maybe in, in loiter applications, you can. Just keep in mind, though, you're not going to get anything beyond 150 foot-pounds of torque, especially not accurately. Here's the deal. I'm hoping that us delivering these answers and giving you this information has answered your questions if it has not please leave it down in the comment section below so we can get you the answer to one of the most asked for tools on our entire channel the the response of when this tool was announced was overwhelming and we wanted to bring you the information that we could get our hands on and if you like that smash the like button also if you're not already get subscribed and tap the bell because we do very informational videos like this all the time with that i want to say i appreciate each and every one a single one of you is for being here with us thanks a lot everybody we'll see you all on the next one video's over but i know you want more so this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.